Hello everyone and thank you so much for being here. I have no idea why the screen is black. There we go. <laughs> I have no idea. Henry, thank you so much for the M&Ms. Thank you so much. I guess they popped up just in the transition. Let me get that again. Thank you so much for the bits. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, wait, when you use the custom thing, it doesn't show? Huh, that's odd. Well, thank you so much, Henry. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, Munchlax, yeah, that's true. I haven't shown Gramble. I just I don't think it's very good, but I could definitely try and show Gramble. Uh, but anyways, for today, if you're watching YouTube, welcome to another brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're live with me on Twitch for the celebration stream, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's uh, great to be back. Um, there's only two more tournaments to travel to for the season. Um, only two tournaments to travel to in the next three months, which I'm looking forward to not traveling actually. Obviously, I really wanna go to NAC, I wanna go to Worlds, but I'm also looking forward to having a little bit more stability, being able to stream more often, um, and just overall um, be at home and um, doing my my things, yeah? So we're gonna start by looking at Zork Seal Valley. Seal Valley GX definitely a card that hasn't seen play in a very long time yet. Recently it got top 8 at the Sao Paulo Regional. Um, Gustavo Wada never made his list public. I decided not to, um, not to use his list. So this is a more focused deck purely on Seal Valley. With its ability Gyro unit, all our basic bone in play have no retreat cost, which is really nice because you'll usually have Lele or like a Zoro or a Type Null that hasn't evolved. So you get to promote those and then free retreat back into um, into into whichever attacker you need. And then Turbo Drive dealing 120, you do get to attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. We are not playing any basic energy in this version of the deck. However, with triple acceleration energy, this attack is now very, very good and very viable. Now, Rebel GX, it's essentially like we still have like Rock GX, does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so a really nice um, GX attack to have, as it can be used in a pickle to remove a big threat and something that your opponent has to play around. Um, I have not played Plume Cario, Psyluk, I did play just pure Lucario Mill Metal. Um, I don't think Foul Plume is very good and it's super easy to prepare. And thank you, Henry, thank you so much for the extra M&Ms. Very, very kind of you. The cup definitely looking much fuller. <laughs> thank you so much, that's very kind of you. Um, but yeah, next up we have Zork, of course, 210 HP, it's ability trade into discard card and draw two that makes the deck keep going and then we have righteous beating dealing 20 damage for each poker in play 150 with a choice ban 170 with a kukui potentially 180 with a devoured field now you might notice i don't have any persian in here um, persian is potentially very good um so i did think about taking out one zork and one seal valley for a 1-1 persian maybe that could be viable um, but we do have two Tapalele and one the 10 HEX for support. We have the Ditto to make it so that we are essentially playing a five Zorua, four Type Null list, along with two Alolan Grimers and the one Alolan Mock, which is necessary to stop all the really good abilities that are out there right now. Um, Jedi, that sounds like a really sick box. Full Art Pressure on Charizard, regular Charizard, and Full Art Welder. That's like the dream, right? <laughs> Other than the Rainbow Rare. Um, that's basically the dream. Um, so purchase wise we have our trusty for Lily as we do have the Lily engine for this deck. We have triple Guzma since we don't have Lycanroc, that's why we want that extra Guzma going. We have double charge to disrupt our opponent, one Mallow to try and find the right cards at the right times. Um, I guess I don't have choice band so I can never hit for 170 <laughs> or 180 with Zorg. Um, one Cynthia for support, two Acerolas to heal. Um, four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, and three Pokemon Communication, along with the one of Field Lord, one of Stretcher, and the two Fighting Memories, along with the two Water Memories. Water and Fighting is now the best way to cover basically the whole format, right? Between your damage output at 120 and the Memories, we should be able to um, deal a lot of damage to our opponent's Pokemon. And finally, have the Triple Acceleration Energy, which is what makes this deck now super viable and super good along with our trusty four TCEs. So let's jump into a ladder and see if we can find some Picaroms and Reshizars to take down. 
And then the rest of the stream, I'll probably end up using these three decks. I've taken a fine seat to Carnivore Sylvian. Um, I've been kind of beating um, opposing Reshiram Charizard players. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for the five bits. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for the five bits and for the, well, for the five M&Ms, you know? All the M&Ms acquired in the stream <laughs> will be used towards my further purchase of M&Ms. Now, right now, I really want to lose weight. I've gained so much weight um, in the last two years, right? Honestly, since I started Table 1 full-time, I have gained a lot of weight, and people giving me M&Ms at every event doesn't really help my case. Um, so I'm trying to only limit my M&M consumption to when people gift them to me, but I'm trying not to buy any. Henry, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the extra M&Ms. Very kind of you. Actually, th these M&Ms, yeah, uh, they're going to become quest bars, yeah, protein bars. So they'll be put to good use. Okay, so we're up against a dragon type deck that has a Marshadow. Um, I thought about making a quad Turtonator deck with Nagnadel, like kind of like Blossevolent GX, but actually Turtonator. Uh, but it failed miserably, honestly. And Ice Chief, thank you so much for the birthday. Um, and what decks is bad to make post rotation? I honestly have no idea. I mean, Regisard is gonna be good, but we don't know what's in the new set still. We know the Japanese cards, but I honestly haven't taken a look at them. So I can't really say. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really not very useful for post-rotation purposes right now. Um, I'll be useful for that on the 24th of June or whenever um, NAIC is over. Um, hot cup of noodles. Thanks so much for the birthday wish. Question for you about wheezing ahead of Madison. Do you think that adding the make and pay Persian can help with the style matchup? It probably can. Like, you only need it. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for the extra M&Ms. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Um... I the make and bait Persian it could be good you would have to wait for the right timing to use it it could definitely be useful um, get rid of like their loose amines their um, max potions you definitely need to keep it a secret it could be a good way to um, to try and deal with that otherwise unwinnable matchup right so if you have the space for it then definitely go for it I'm not sure how popular that deck is going to be in Madison style decks I mean um, okay, so my opponent is playing Malamar, but he's filled up his bench with everything except in case. Which I guess, I mean, that's probably how it worked out, but I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. If he ultra ult for the second Jirachi, that feels like a bit of a waste. Uh, but anyways, this hand, pretty solid, I'd say. So I have a choice. I could Lele, I could... Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this first, right? Um... Dugong is really good against Malamar, but I'm not playing Dugong, so I guess that's not relevant. I will get Zorua. Um, I do need my GX attack to finish off this guy, right? My GX attack by Seal Valley. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put that back in, and I'm going to find the Ditto. That way, essentially, I have double Type Null and double Zorua with one card. And then, I kind of don't want to bench the Lele. So I'm going to do this. I am going to grab another Zorua, because definitely Zorks are the more important Pokemon. And then I kind of like just Viridian Foresting away the Fighting Memory. I'm not going to need a Fighting Memory against my opponent's deck. And then I get to Cynthia for 6 friendly cards. If that was a Lily, I would have Lily for 7. So this is essentially the same thing, but this works out nicely. I don't think my Zorua is threatened, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach the energy there. Um, my opponent, I guess, could have Metal Energy, Kuzma. Psychic Recharge into a KO on the Zorua, but that's not the end of the world. And with the triple, I could respond with a GX KO, so... Thank you so much, Sir Panage. Very kind of you. Um, triple on Shurmesh. Pokemon content is gonna be so dry from June 24 until the next set comes out. That is true. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna work on that, and I'm definitely gonna try and um, make videos with, like, the Proxy, yeah, proxy Croak... Um, layout and stuff that you guys have seen me use before um but definitely getting gameplay of that at least for me it's going to be very difficult um i'm sure other youtubers who have um, setups that can record and they'll print out proxies and stuff that will probably be very useful um i will be trying to churn out um ideas 
and Ray, thank you so much. I don't know, why are we not getting alerts? I'm so sorry. That's the reason why we weren't seeing the M&Ms. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies, I could have sworn. Yeah, I could have sworn I had the alerts already, but I guess they're not. Um, Ray, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing. Why don't you continue the Pokedex? Lena, yeah, that is part of the plan. Now that I'm going to be home, for a long period of time my intention is to bring back um the tcg pokedex yeah and bring back viewer battles as well and wow alex thank you so much for gifting thank you so much there we go there's the um alerts thank you so much alex thank you so much um okay so my type null actually got ko'd which i was honestly not expecting um i feel like i can probably handle this okay um, I am going to evolve and then I am going to I really want to get this KO right um, I don't think I want to judge do I nah judge would be super greedy so I'm gonna get rid of it actually and then I'm going to do this to get rid of the choice band and the stadium and then I will go ahead and Lily for five. Then I have my trade. There's my Seal Valley, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I should trade first. I'll trade the Water Memory. Obviously not great. And yeah, thank you, Alex. That that alert actually helped me in realizing or that thing. Um, for my name, thank you, Henry. And there's the alert for the bits. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for letting me know and helping me get everything set up. Um, I thought I had, but maybe I I. I deleted it for some reason um, okay so I will evolve I could bring back the Nuzlocke as well uh, Mr. Soda King thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for the birthday wish M&M um, bits indeed silver pocket because people know how much I love M&Ms so that's why um, I decided to make the custom cheer mode thank you so much for the M&Ms guys wow thank you so much I really appreciate guys thank you so much Death Ball Judge Looking good here. Once again, Alex, thank you so much for the gift as well. Okay, so I guess I should reset the or reshow the alerts that we missed. And then I'm starting from Henry's 500 bits. And then Ice Chief for the follow. Thank you so much. And then Henry once again. And yeah, I think that's those are the ones. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Very kind of you. Okay. So then, what is my opponent up to? What is my opponent up to now? Um, hopefully, ideally, he won't be able to get a return KO on my Seal Valley. Um, Henry, thank you so much. Oh no, that's the repeat. Um, okay, that was the doorbell. I'm gonna have to go get that, so be right back. basically a spam a spam caller <laughs> um, so yeah this layout kind of the same I could have sworn I had the chat up as well what is happening <laughs> I it, it seems like the work that I did last night on this just isn't there uh, is it this one I think it's this one yeah so the chat should show up here, right? The chat should be able to show up so that you guys, at least the people who are watching on YouTube know exactly um, why I'm saying the things that I'm saying. Yeah, so if you guys wanna try out the chat to make sure that it's working, that would be great. Um, we see a Cynthia, we see an escape board. I guess my opponent played Rescue Stretcher. He played Rescue Stretcher, played the Viridian, he puts Inky on the bench. Okay, there you go. <laughs> See? And the chat, the chat now looks much, much nicer. Much, much nicer, I hope. And there's a victory, so no idea what was going on with my opponent, but here we go. We have our 
first win with the deck. Um, <laughs> is the sound just a tad too low for anybody? Um, that that happens. That comment I get that all the time. Sir Panage. Um, I honestly have no idea. Like I literally have my mic right here. Maybe I just speak to to um silently too quietly um i don't know i don't know um i don't know why oh we're up against i caterpie we are up against i caterpie alessandro Krimascoli. we are we are both Ooh, zoro greninja zorg we are both um regional winners this season which is pretty cool um he actually helped me with uh the Regigigas deck that I played in Cancun, which is pretty nice. Um, did I did I hear Pablo going to trade me a bunch of secret words on PCGO? I can't trade here. <laughs> I can't trade, unfortunately. Um, low for me too. Sound is fine. Um, that's odd. I honestly I have no idea. It's just like if at least how I've I okay. So maybe someone who uses Streamlabs OBS can help me. Yeah, if you're watching YouTube or right now, but in the advanced audio settings, I can't increase the volume above a hundred percent. It's like the maximum is a hundred percent, and the mic is at a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean I can try to speak louder, I guess. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I feel like my opponent is gonna try and Gosler B string. A bunch of energies. Um, do I need Grimer? I probably don't need Grimer, right? I don't expect my opponent is using um, anything important here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna type null. My opponent will be able to keep his bench super low. One of each memory is prized. The only way I can one hit KO um, the Greninja Zorg is if he has three Pokemon on the bench, or 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 if I get triple plus Kukui plus the um plus the plus the plus the thing plus the um, plus the memory yeah so not looking great i'm not gonna attach the dc because i feel like my opponent could end up um using counter catcher right after killing his own pokemon um it's always lower on tailman and omnipoke yeah i have no idea why though i have no idea why your audio is max to uh, Silvali honestly might be good. Yeah, Silvali honestly might be good. It did top eight the regional that I um, that I won, and Gustavo Wada, the European champion, was using it. So definitely some merit to that, right? Okay, I'm gonna make the chat a little bit smaller so it doesn't cover up the logo. Is chat good there or is chat good here? Okay. So I'm gonna take my prize from the Miss Magius, not the memory we wanted to see, right? And this hand is honestly pretty underwhelming. This hand is honestly pretty, pretty underwhelming. Mostly because like I don't have an attacker guaranteed, right? That's the biggest issue. Um, and it's been louder, okay. Um, Above the cup is fine. Okay, perfect. My throat is also a little bit sore, so that might be a factor. Hmm. Okay, so I generally think we're about to see an explosion of... Um, oh, okay, the Seal Valley definitely helps here. But I think we're going to see an explosion of... Um, of B-strings onto Gosslord here. Bray the poor man. Okay, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Where did you where did you message? Oh, okay, on Twitch. So I'll check it when I'm done with this tag. I'll check it to see if I can improve on the sound. The sound is definitely so. I'm not a. Uh, I I'm indifferent to music. Yeah, like I never really listen to music. I've never been interested in music. So sound and music and videos. That's something that since it doesn't appeal to me, I find it really hard. Oh my gosh. I find it really hard to um, 
to use or to focus on i don't know it's just it's never been my thing it honestly has never been my thing okay so pretty pretty demolishing turn right there i had a huge hand and then it just gets judged however this hand is actually pretty decent this hand is actually pretty pretty decent there is no there's isn't a single button on this microphone <laughs> not a single one yeah not a single one um <laughs> okay so decides to use the gx understandably so there's the incineroar gx getting set up only one though i wish it was two i definitely definitely wish it was two but this gives me a turn right basically to stabilize so i'm trying to think i don't need days roll i don't think right i'm thinking that dede I am honestly thinking that Dene is the right call because the Dene replenishes my hand. I mean, it's definitely better than Zoark, right? And Lele would be the same but worse, honestly. So I'm liking this. I there was an argument. I don't know. Um, okay, I almost whiffed big time here. I honestly almost whiffed big time. The Divard field is actually pretty key uh, because it doesn't change any of his maths, but it does help me. And I'm going to go ahead and trade. Hmm. I feel like my opponent will try to play something like Choice Helmet. So the Field Lord could be important. Um, I feel like the Nest Ball is a tradable card here. Uh, okay, so not the best, right? Not the best, but at least the Lele lets us keep going. I'm going to attach the Water Memory to the Dene because it generally doesn't matter and if I get judged again I don't want it in my hand um, but yeah now with four more energies that would be six total in play that would be exactly knockout right that would actually be exactly exactly knockout um, as long as Alessandro gets an energy into play from hand my Zork will be knocked out um <laughs> driven on Shroomish. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that I don't enjoy music or anything. It's just um, like I add it because I know it's important for other people. But it's honestly like for me, it's just I'm not into music. I'm just I'm not. I'm really not into music. Um, okay, so I have three Seal Valleys and I have three Zorks and I have the Super Boost, uh, the Triple Acceleration. I keep calling it Super Boost. Um. Sir Panage, I probably prefer the, the Slow King Dugong one. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm not guaranteed anything right now, right? So if I'm going to Lele for Cynthia, I should promote the Ditto, because then the Ditto gives me all the flexibility in the world to get this upcoming KO. The Mallow is not useful. I'll attach... Should I, though? Hmm... Yeah... Probably keeping the fighting memory. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna field blower my water memory But I do want to keep that as a memory as it is So then I'm gonna lay lay for Cynthia that gives me the best chance at responding here. I Need any energy and a Zork, right? If I get triple if I get DC and Silvali, well, that's just annoying. Oh My gosh So I'm really struggling here to find actual attackers right i'm struggling to find my evolutions which makes me very very sad i'm about to take three prizes though i am about to take three prizes and then i have a potential win condition on this incinerator so because of that win condition i'm just gonna get rid of the judge i'm just gonna get rid of the judge there's still valley that's pretty nice um should i even evolve yeah, because I don't think my opponent will... Well, if he goes must, then that's fine. Well, it's not fine, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have evolved, actually. Maybe I should have kept that in my hand. I will get three prizes. Um, a Seal Valley KO plus a Judge. Like, a Counter Catcher plus Judge play would be pretty detrimental. Um, just losing my Zoark is going to be not ideal, of course. Uh, just losing the Zoark is not going to be ideal. Because then I have one trade to find Guzma. 
right? I have one trait to my Guzma. Oh, but he doesn't KO me. Wait, what? Why wouldn't you use Scar Charge here? I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you use... Huh? Why wouldn't you use the ability? Did he misplay? I guess he did. Um, okay, off of that trait, however, I would have found communication in order to find um, Lele in order to Guzma KO this guy. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, actually, it does not matter. Um, it doesn't end up mattering here. It doesn't end up mattering. I would have won anyways, because I could have dealt 240 damage to the Incineroar. But that was a, a misplay, I assume, right? That was a misplay. Long time no see Alex indeed. <laughs> uh, or maybe he just doesn't have any more energies. In his deck, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only nine total, doesn't seem right. And Luis, thank you so much <laughs> for the congrats and for the birthday wish. I will go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. And I will grab the Lele. Oh wait, what am I saying? Never mind. sorry. My bad. My, my bad. This is enough. <laughs> this is enough. I was trying to go for the win. Uh, there's a Guzma. I still had Guzmas, however, in the deck. The important card was the Lele, and it was available. So, GG, Alessandro. Um, sorry about the misclick, but I don't. The misclick or the mistake, but I don't think it actually made a difference. Um, that match was ours to win, and uh, Zorg Greninja, definitely a deck that I didn't consider to be good um, when I first tried it out. I recently gave it another try and um, it kind of surprised me at how it um, it did work, right? It did work nicely, but um, but yeah, still not a great card, I think. Still not a great card. Um, so yeah, let's find our next opponent, which is Seijun. Is this Seijun Park? Is this actually Seijun Park? the Korean VGC world champion that would be interesting uh, hot cup noodles I can play in tournaments yeah I can play in tournaments um, I never do of course but I can play in tournaments um, it's something that I could consider for um, for 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 viewer battle Friders or something and wow what an atrocious hand any other basic would have been great um, okay, so if this is Seijun Park, um, yesterday, or not yesterday, in the Blastephalon video we played against Shintaro Ito, 2016 World, TCG World Champion. Today we just played against Alessandro Kremascoli, recent regional winner, and now we're up against Seijun Park, um, multiple Korean national TCG and VGC winner, um, along with VGC World Champion. Um, printing new card any soon? Ray the poor man, what do you mean? New card. Okay, so he leads off with a bench into a Cynthia. Not the best start for him, of course. Not the best start for him. And... <clears throat> We're going to see a mysterious treasure for another Inky, of course. Without Choice Band, this is a really bad matchup, I feel. Um, maybe Psychic Memory would help, or there's no Fairy Memory yet. Okay, so the Nest Ball, we really, 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 really want our other Lele to not be prized, and it isn't. Um, there is merit to um, to using the Dene here as well. There is definitely merit to that. Um, okay, so one Type Null is prized. So now I have to make a decision. Do I go for Lele into Lily? Or do I go for the Dene into Dede change into um, hopefully more resources? So the deciding factor will actually be I have my other two Guzmas available and I have all my other energy available. So I actually think that Dene is it's definitely more aggressive, but it's also um, it has the potential to be a lot better. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so not the best 
right? Not the best. I do get the attachment, which is nice. And I get to Lily for four, which is pretty decent. Um, with the Cuckoo and the DC, I could have killed the Inke. Maybe that was the right way to go here, actually. Maybe that should have been what I did, right? Hmm. Maybe that's what I should have done, actually. KO the first thing, okay, then I had kind of a target against the other one. Uh, slight misstep here. I thought about the Kukui DC KO. Like, that was my first thought when I started the game and I saw the Inkei, but then, meh. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much for the follow, Late God X. Um, am I going to print a new card this year? Maybe Ray. I honestly hadn't thought about it yet, uh, but it could be a, a good idea. Yeah, it could be a good idea to get a new Tail Munchie X card or a <laughs> Full Art Pablo Supporter card. That could be pretty cool. Um, just honestly, the Tail Munchie Xs didn't work out as well as I hoped for. Um, so, so yeah. Um, you just pulled your third Full Art Welder in two days. Nice HPK tank. Are you trying to? Um, are you trying to foil out your your? your reshes are to like make it max rarity um <clears throat> lily indeed mesmerized me on turn one <laughs> and late god yeah a lot of people have commented that my um that my mic might be a bit too low i'm trying to speak a bit louder but um but i'm not sure um what else to do i've always struggled with that it has been commented quite a few times um, some people say it's fine, other people say it is too low. So after I'm done with this game, I will probably, yeah, I will probably end up um, adjusting things. Okay, so if, okay, so let me think this through. I can potentially GX KO the Necrozma, right? <clears throat> If I trade into a Kuzma, which I got rid of, because I can't, or if I trade into a Sil Valley. So I'm going to trade away probably the Kukui, right? Um, I never have, I don't have choice band, so I, Kukui never matters, I don't think. And there's the Kuzma, pretty nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and Ultra away the Mallow and the Memory. And I will go ahead and find my Silvali, and I'm gonna GX scale the Necrozma. I feel like I need to be aggressive in this way. Um, I'll leave this space open in case I ever want Lele down, and then I will go ahead and Guzma, and then Rebel GX. I will also bench the Zorua and get the KO. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, I needed the memory, I needed the memory, who knows what the ability of Necrozma was, oh no, what, oh no, it never, absolutely never crossed my mind, never ever in a million years did that ever cross my mind, never. Honestly, like there's no, I can't play. I can't play it cool. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I can't play it cool. Never in a million years. <laughs> Never in a million years until I attacked and my opponent would have been like, no, no, no. <laughs> Never in a million years. <coughs> Never in a million years. You weren't quick enough. I would think that is true. Uh, thank you so much for the bit, hot couple noodles. Thank you so much for the bits. Uh, <laughs> busted ability. Yeah, with the water memory, I would have gotten the KO. <clears throat> and we would have been in a decent spot, I feel. Right? Because we probably would have been able to be ahead by three prizes before my opponent took one. I'm just going to go ahead and concede. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so silly. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. Uh, thank you so much, good enough for the 25 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so, so much for the bits. 
Uh, do you have a list for this deck? Um, it's one I made myself. Yeah, I showed it. I can show it again if you remind me once the game is about to be over. Um, yeah, busted a build. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we will pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, it's not like you guys can clip it and then make it stay on the internet forever. Yeah, no, that that that's not possible, right? That is definitely, definitely not possible. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Thank you so much for the 100 M&Ms. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. How silly was that on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> How silly was that? And yeah, no one plays Necrozma GX indeed. Um, and definitely Silvali, I don't think, makes it relevant, right? I'm, I'm not even sure. That was so awkward. <laughs> Oopsies. Big oopsies to start off the birthday stream. Yeah. <laughs> big, big oopsies. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it never ever occurred to me. Ever. Ever. Um, FF Inc. did try to warn us. Yeah, but once I paid, like, I only saw the chat after I clicked on the GX and realized I completely botched that. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Good enough as well. Welcome to the stream, um, big oopsies. The man who wins worlds with Patrizio uses Necrozma, so it has to be good. Yeah, I mean, Necrozma is good, right? Necrozma is definitely good, uh, it's just, you do, it's not common. But even if it was played, like, I'll be honest, I probably would not have realized it. Honestly, I probably would not have realized it. Um, I have no idea what plays Cartana and Alolan Ninetales, though. Gladian? Um, I have no idea what we're up against. Maybe a Meganium based deck and these are forward candies? I have no idea what we're up against. So it looks like, well, there's Hoopa. And when I saw Cartana, I thought immediately, okay, so Zapdos Ultra Beasts. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'll grab my Ditto. Yeah. And then I don't want to discard the mob, so I'm just going to go ahead. And Cynthia, I didn't check for my stretcher. I should be doing that. Um, okay. Now this I can work with. I'll bench the Zorwa. And then I'll DC the Zorwa. And then I'll go ahead and look for the Patrisu. Uh Is there anything? No, there's nothing I can remove with the Field Blower. So now I'm gonna grab the Pachirisu. Let's check for the stretcher. Stretcher is in there. Um, seems like Plumstall would safeguard. Yeah, that's true. But the Gartana throws me off though. The Gartana definitely throws me off. Um, okay, so we'll pass here. Um, if that safeguard nine tails, we have nothing against that. So we might see, we might be getting another, well, this guy, right? Slashing Claw. We get Slashing Claw. We got this. Why would you play a Lola Night Tilt install? The safeguard one. Yeah, the one that has the same ability as Koopa. Um, so that you can't be attacked by GXs. Um, okay, so... I get to evolve, which is awesome. Right? And then... I feel like I'm not going to be needing a Cerola here. And do I value getting a KO more or do I value setting up the mock? I feel like I value getting the KO more than um, setting up the mock. At least for now. Um, losing the Ultra Wall definitely hurts, but um, it might hurts my chances of finding the, the mock this turn. But not the biggest of deals. Uh, my opponent sends a heart. Uh, hmm, what does the heart mean? We might need another judge. So I'm gonna discard the Kuzma now. Um, I don't wanna keep. I don't wanna. I wanna evolve that into Mock, obviously. Oh, I can evolve this guy. What am I saying? Well, I need the Fighting Memory. I'm going to assume I won't. I'm going to assume I won't. There's the Type Null. Yeah, I am going to bench it to have that in case my opponent tries to use Alolan Ninetales. Um, people have mentioned 
Um, hi, Vlad, hello. People have mentioned that... Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Henry. Thank you so much. Um, people have mentioned the audio issue. Once I'm done with this game, I will try and fix it, okay? Okay, so this is some sort of, like, it's probably safeguard nine tails which is scary um and it seems like uh it will be wait what kiratina meowth what what i have no idea what my opponent is trying to do he shows me the puzzle however he does show me the puzzle which will prompt me to not attack with Zoark, not take these two prizes, try and Guzma, which I just discarded, darn, <laughs> darn, 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 okay, yeah, I'm, I'm really lost, I am really lost here, hello, Wormtowny, thanks so much for being here, fails in this ball, there's the puzzle, So he's clearly not, he doesn't even retreat, right? So he's baiting me into this KO. Which makes sense, right? Makes a little bit of sense. Two cards, played the counter energy, does, and he's playing metal energies and rainbows. So I kind of feel like I should trade here. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's the pro play, guys. I am going to Mallow for not the choice band, darn, never mind. Never mind. There's no pro play. Do I just let him take the two prizes? Is that okay? Probably okay, right? Uh, I feel like Kukui could end up being useful at some point. Definitely a triple acceleration. Um, I think I just accept the fact that I'm going to lose his arc. I could just attack with Type Null though, right? I probably don't mind retreating. Uh... <laughs> you trapped yourself, Jedi. <laughs> uh... Do I attack with Armor Press? Do I trade? What do I do? Yeah, I'll trade with Zorua. I am really confused as to what to do. Okay, I'll evolve. No, you know what? I'm gonna keep the Ditto as Ditto to give him a false sense of security to attack with that in case he doesn't have the energy for puzzle. Um, I'll take my two prizes, he'll take two prizes, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a trade I'm willing to take. It's a trade I am willing to take. And yeah, doesn't promote the puzzle, so I'm happy with that, right? I'm happy with that. Maybe he assumes that I don't have a low one muck. Um, maybe he thinks it's prized, but this will deactivate the B-string turn, I mean, the Sledgehammer turn. Oh, so he must have top decked that, right? He must have top decked that. <clears throat> He absolutely must have top deck that. Okay, so it happens, right? It happens. Um, that means two counter energies are gone, which I am completely fine with. Um, I'll do this. I will... I'm definitely using Kukui to KO the puzzle. I don't think... I mean, based on the previous game, maybe I should just keep the memory <laughs> in case something just comes out in case he drops on a Crossman and tries to wall me with it. Um, don't want to evolve. I'll just ride she's beating for the KO. Are you a fan of Stahl right now? Honestly, no. Because I really like Reshizard and I don't think Stahl can legitimately beat Reshizard. Good Reshizard players, I don't think they can beat you or you can beat them. Uh, Robin Hood, thank you so much for the congrats on both things. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, people are going crazy with the... Um, <laughs> people are going crazy with the uh, Pokeball and Great Ball and Ultra Ball commands over on chat. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Um, Robin Hood, Table Months? What do you mean, Table Months? Best decks tier lists? I think tier 1 are definitely Reshizard and Sabdos Ultra Beasts, and probably Zork with Sloking and Tugong. 
and then tier two it's things like wheezing peak rum um stall uh quack nag and then tier three it's just random vile plume things um guardy sylvian i don't know just weird things okay so my opponent trying to wall me here i will go ahead and i mean do i even trade i don't think i trade um, i will evolve here and i will evolve into muck yeah but keeping this type null as a type null i guess i'll attach in case he does have the um the alola nine tails that would be pretty awkward right that would be pretty awkward but i'm two prices down i'm two prices left two prizes on the field so we'll see pigram dropped to tier two definitely pigram is not uh, it just it loses so bad to Regisar that it's just it's not that good anymore. Um, in seniors with bad Regisar players, do you think Stell can handle them? Okay, probably, probably, um, probably. Okay, so my opponent just has like everything here. Um, Frost Rotom, not a big deal. Uh, Buzzle also not a big deal. I feel like the counter gain would have been better off on the Buzzle. Wait, when did I lose another prize? Oh, he used Cortana. Never mind. He used Cortana. Decides to retreat into the puzzle. Thankfully, I found my Devard field off of my prizes. Um, otherwise, I would have had to retreat and use my GX attack, which is not the biggest of deals. Uh, we're going to get hit for 60 here. Not the biggest of deals. Poke gear. Timer ball is no longer a command. Uh, no, I don't, I don't remember why I took it away. Um... Worms was asking whose birthday? Oh yeah, <laughs> my birthday. My birthday was on Saturday, May 25th. So a little bit over a week ago. Um, no, a little bit under a week ago. <laughs> I am lost in time apparently. Baby clown, uh, baby clown, probably tier two. I don't think it's tier one. I definitely don't think um, Blounce is tier. I mean, baby Blounce is tier. Tier one material. It's just a bit unreliable, in my opinion. Okay, so there's another type null. So many targets. We have Guzma, so there's no way we will end up losing this game. Interesting concept by my opponent. Yeah, interesting concept by my opponent. But um, it just—it's like it's trying to counter everything, but it just doesn't do it right, right? Or it just doesn't do it. Um, I don't know. It's trying to counter everything where it's not really countering everything. Missing Clover. Oh my gosh, are we about to lose? Am I actually about to lose? Missing Clover for one prize. Ericas for six. Are we about to lose to some weird thing? Lavender Town. Are we about to lose to like a KO on this guy? I hope not. I hope not. Type null, maybe the worst Pokemon? <laughs> Why do you mean? What do you mean the worst Pokemon? Okay. So, all good. Yeah, all good. Yeah, <laughs> the Clovers, I was like, okay, is am I going to, am I about to lose here? <laughs> it's like a, a Baby Buzz, Beast Energy, Choice Band, Retreat into it, plus Missing Clover combo. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, um, that will be all for Zorax Hill Valley. Um, I'm gonna try and do something about the audio if I can. I will be right back. Don't worry, anyway, guys. I will now be playing a more powerful deck, in my opinion, Reshisard. Um, my build that I would have used for Madison if I had gone to the tournament. So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back in just a second. <laughs> 